Hey y'all, welcome to Yellow Texas, your insider's guide to all the can't miss spots the Lone Star State has to offer. I'm your host AC, so with summer just around the corner, things are about to get pretty hot here in Texas, so what's the best way to cool off? Well, how about on a motorized surfboard going 35 miles per hour across beautiful Medina Lake? Let's just say this one will get your heart racing and your adrenaline pumping. And we're on our way to Medina Lake in the heart of the Texas Hill Country. Let's go. And fun fact, did you know that Medina Lake is actually considered a reservoir? All that crystal water comes straight from the Medina River, giving jet surfers a chance to catch the perfect wave. And speaking of jet setters, we're actually on our way to meet one of the best in the entire sport. Dana is a professional jet surfer, and as you can see, he's got some serious skills. He's only been doing this for a whopping three years, but in that short time, he's managed to land himself a spot on the U.S. Motor Surf Team. So, let's go meet him. Howdy, AC. Welcome. Thank you. Are you ready to jet surf? Let's do this. All right, let's go. All right, Dana, for people who do not know what we're doing here today, can you kind of explain what the sport is? What is jet surf? Well, AC, the best way to explain jet surfing is take a surfboard or a wakeboard and shrink an engine in it and put it inside of it. It's a motorized surfing. It's a 100cc two-stroke engine, just like you'd find on a motocross motorcycle. And so this guy from Czechoslovakia shrunk it, put it inside the surfboard, and let it rip. Bam, and this is what we're going to be doing. That's what you'll be doing today. <laughs> and then here you are, a national competitor. You just competed in Cancun for the U.S. Motor Surf Team. Um, so what is competition like? How did you get from that, that point as a hobby to now competitive side? Well, once I got my first jet surf about four years ago, I just started practicing and practicing <laughs> nonstop. And I wanted to race just because I had the motocross background. And so finally last summer, I just packed up my gear and I flew to London and went to my first competition. Showed up, didn't know what to expect, and did okay. And a Jet Surf USA representative saw me and uh, asked me, invited me to be on the team. Easier said than done, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so what do you go say? We check it out. Let's go do it. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so what's the first step we need to take? <laughs> Looks like you're ready to get rolling. So as in any sport, safety first, AC. So you're let right. me just show you a couple of things. Alrighty. First is a life jacket. That's always very important to, uh, to put on when you're getting in the water. Okay. And number two, for this, since it's an adventure sport, a helmet is really good. All right. See safety how first. that fits. My little noggin here. <laughs> Man, you are set up, ready to go. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, so on to the surfboard. All righty. Um, this is a jet surfboard, and it's a surfboard with an engine in it. So if you take the lid off and you look inside, you see that all this is compressed wow. into a size of a surfboard. Let me turn this sideways for you. Easy. And show you the bottom of it. Oh, wow. To get this started, there's a safety clip, because you might wonder, how do I uh, start it up, or how, when I fall off, does it stop for me? Yeah. There's a little magnet in this pin, oh. and this pin goes inside the throttle here. All right. Similar to a sea dew key, like a kill key on a sea dew. Yeah. So this is strapped to your wrist. Gotcha. And when you put this in, it'll start it. Yeah. And then when you fall off, it pulls the pin off. I've seen that on a jet ski, so easy peasy. That's similar. I know that. That's familiar. Okay. <laughs> well, that, so when you're ready to get off, if you get uncomfortable, just throw yourself off the back of it and it'll stop and then you can swim back up to Perfect. it. Perfect. Once you get going at a medium speed, then you'll feel the stability of it. The slower you go, the harder it will be to stand up. Wow. So as you go a little bit faster, the speed will build your stability. All right, let's do this. You ready? All right. <laughs> <laughs> and after a few adjustments, it was all or nothing. No holding back. Let me just say, knee jet surfing is a whole lot harder than you think. But in no time, I finally got the hang of it. Not bad 
that for my first time. But now, it was time for the real test. Full on jet surf. a couple of failed attempts, believe it or not, I actually managed to stand up. goodness, I'm going to be so sore tomorrow, but hey, I got up once. Yeah, that's all I need, right? Okay, so I think I'm going to retire now and just leave it to the pros. <laughs> That was incredible. Awesome job. Thank you so much for having us out to share this with everybody. You got up the first day. That's an amazing job. Not everybody does that. So you are officially a jet surfer. Yeah. You get to do this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I get to do this? You get to do that. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. There we go. Well, everyone, I highly recommend jet surfing. Make sure to check out Dana and best of luck on your next competition. <laughs> Thank you much. All right. Yellow Texas. Yellow Texas. Want to learn more about this exciting sport? Visit Dana's Facebook page and follow him on social media for more info on motor surf racing.